Anthony with the movieblog.com. First and foremost, let me bow before the might of Sauron. Okay, let me let me just get that out of the way. Show mercy on me. Uh, <laughs> not exactly. Thank you. <laughs> um, Halbrand has had quite the evolution over these two seasons. Yeah. So, what's it been like navigating the transition? First, you know, an aimless man, and then learning you're actually playing Sauron and in evolving into this darker character that we're seeing now. How do you, how did you actually portray, approach portraying these internal shifts? I think it's all about, for me, trying to make it consistent with what Tolkien wrote. And that's whenever I feel any doubts or confusion, I just go back to the text and I try and find the inspiration from different parts, whether it's the Silmarillion or the Akalabeth, Rings of Power, the appendices. Like there is so much stuff there. Um, that I can draw upon and um, it's a joy like that's the thing it all comes back to that and connecting all these different forms of the character and uh, it, they all come back to Sauron's goals and what Tolkien wrote about what Sauron was trying to achieve that that I love to see um, you know I've been really uh, obsessed with how you balance his charisma with his darker intentions underneath. What, what's what been the most rewarding and challenging part of playing that duality? I think that is, it is challenging to try and not sink too far one way or the other and maintaining the truth. Um, because yeah, the deceiver, you can get kind of caught up with deception and, and mustache twiddling and um, having too much fun with it so it becomes a bit caricature-y uh, and for me I really wanted to try and keep it grounded in the reality and still revel in playing this villainous character but then um, feeling the weight of um, the responsibility that he holds in the story because he has to be the evil like he is the antagonist um, but he sees himself as the pr protagonist, which I think is quite fun. Um, he thinks that everything he's doing is right and for the good of Middle Earth. I've noticed that Anatar's interactions with, well, everyone knows that his interactions with Kellen Brimbo are crucial to the future of Middle Earth. Mm. How did you prepare for those scenes where Anatar is suddenly nudging Kellen Brimbo toward creating the rings? Like what kind of dynamic did you aim to build with Charles in those scenes? I think we spent a lot of time together um, developing the characters and, and trying to work on And We, of course, had a scene at the end of the last season where we could see um, how each other worked. And throughout this season, we were very serious and we spent a lot of time talking about the scenes, like um, adjusting little things here and there. But when we worked, we didn't talk too much about it, to be honest. We just kind of let it happen and kept the atmosphere light. I think because the content of what we were doing was so heavy, we um, wanted to keep it light off screen and there was a lot of laughter and fun and yeah, we're really good friends. The transformation from Anatar to the Saul run that we all know is a major, you know, we all know this is gonna be a major pivot for your character. What, what can what can fans expect from this eventual shift and how that darker side is going to be revealed? Or at least what's your preparation for that shift? I don't know. I think you start to see him sort of descend a little bit into like these more Sauron traits come out by the end of the season, particularly with the torture of Calabrimbor and all these things that start to slowly emerge. Um, in terms of shifting into Sauron, I'm curious to see what, the showrunner's plan is because i i'm in the dark um but i have some certain ideas and for me it's always circumstantial in the same way halbram was for galadriel Sa um anatar was for Celebrimbor. sauron has to he's not just going to change shape for the sake of it it's got to serve a purpose and i'm really curious to see um where it ends up going but um yeah i don't know at this stage <laughs> well thank you so much i it's been a pleasure watching your character transform and your performance is top notch thank you so much for your time i really enjoyed speaking with you today thanks man you too appreciate it thank you